So the, the concept of securing users' data is, 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 is super important, but all of that won't really work unless you actually have a way of authenticating your users. So when your users are actually accessing Tableau, there needs to be a way of you understanding who they are uh, and making sure that that user is, is getting the right access so they're seeing, they're seeing the right data. Now, there's a number of different mechanisms that you can use to authenticate users in Tableau. Uh, not all of those mechanisms are as relevant for embedding. Uh, so there's two mechanisms here that we're going to, to discuss um, uh, in more detail, and these are the ones that actually are relevant for embedding. Uh, so the first, uh, the first user authentication that we use for embedding, and this is by far the most common, uh, is something called trusted, applica uh, trusted authentication. So this is essentially where the user signs into your application and automatically is signed into Tableau server as a result. Um, obviously, don't, what you don't want is that your users have a username and password for your application um, and a different username and password to log into Tableau. Um, that's, kind of, that's kind of messy for everyone and you really want to give them that seamless, that seamless experience. Really what you want is that they, your users have the experience that, that Tableau is part of your application um, and, not, and not something separate. So the way that this works is that as, as a user, I, I sign into the application using, using step one. Uh, the application uh, knows who I am. It verifies a username and a password, uh, depending on how that application has been configured. And then what it does is it sends a, sends a secure request to Tableau server, um, asking for a token uh, to allow that user to access Tableau. Uh, that's step two. Step three is that that token is then, is then returned back to the application. Uh, the token is embedded into any kind of uh, website or, or application that's uh, intended to be delivered to the user. And then the application is, is delivered back to the user in, in step four. Then what happens is, is the user has, has a, a link to that dashboard, which contains a secure token. Um, and then in step five, that user will send a request to Tableau server to, to view the dashboard. Um, Tableau server will recognize the token that has been issued in the previous step. It will know, okay, this is, yes, I, I received a request from an application which I trust. Um, I gave a token belonging to Connell. He's now then, uh, he's now then um, retrieving that token, uh, reclaiming that token, uh, and it's safe for me to actually um, provide him with a dashboard view so he can actually see what it is, um, what it is that he's requested. Uh, this, this token can only be used once. Um, so after a token has been issued to a user and used to view a dashboard, if they wish to view the same dashboard again at a later stage, um, or if they wish to view a different dashboard, then they will need a, a, a new token. Another consideration here is that the trust relationship between the application itself and Tableau server is IP address based. So if I have a web application that is communicating with Tableau server and I want to receive a token, then I need to apply configuration in Tableau, which whitelists the IP address of that application itself. Uh, that can sometimes be complex depending on how you're actually deploying your application. Uh, so a recent use case that we worked with a customer, they were using a, um, a tool called Heroku to deploy a web application. Uh, now, Heroku is a, um, a serverless uh, application infrastructure, so the application didn't have a fixed IP address itself. Uh, so we had to use an additional tool there, um, a, a proxy essentially between the application and Tableau server, which, which allowed their application to use a fixed IP address. Um, and then they were able to integrate this integrate this this flow this flow seamlessly. As I say, this this is the most common use case that we see for embedding. Uh, the reason why is that the majority of customers already have somebody signing into their application, um, and they don't necessarily have a another authentication mechanism to use, um, and, and they don't want the user to have to log in separately. The restriction to working in this way is that it's currently a flow that's only supported by Tableau server um, and it's not currently supported by Tableau online. Um, so I'll take you through another flow next, which is supported by both Tableau server and, and Tableau online. So this is, uh, this is uh, the flow that we call single sign-on. Now there's a few different flavors of uh, single sign-on available in Tableau, but the one that we see most commonly used in embedding is, is SAML. 
um, but there's also other other protocols such as such as OpenID, uh, OpenID, which can be used. Now this flow is slightly more complicated, so let me just let me just walk it through now. So uh, as a user, I initially try and sign on to uh, the web application that I'm using. Now in this case, this application isn't actually uh, prompting me for a username or a password. Um, it's saying, okay, I'm going to send you somewhere else, and they're going to prompt you for a username or password. Um, and that somewhere else in this case is an identity provider, uh, sometimes what we call an IDP for short. Now you probably see this a lot actually in your day-to-day -day lives. Um, so for example, when I started this call, I, I started to log on to Zoom. But Zoom actually sent me out to Google so that I could log into my Google account and therefore I would automatically be logged into Zoom. Um, and this is working exactly the same way. So I'm trying to log into the application. I'm sent to the external provider. The external provider then asks me for my username and password, which I then provide to the external provider. And then that external provider then tells my application that I am who I say I am because it's been able to check those, check those credentials. And then the application considers me, considers me as, as logged in. Uh, then the application returns any content to me that I, that I request which in this case is, is likely to be a, an embedded Tableau visualization. Um, I then try and access that embedded Tableau visualization. Now, in this case, there's, there's no token embedded there. So Tableau itself has to check that I'll, I'm logged in. And what Tableau does is then it makes a call out to the same identity, identity provider uh, that I used to log into the application in the first place. Now, that identity provider could actually prompt me for a username and password. But in this case, it knows that I'm already logged in because I already actually logged in uh, in steps three and four after I tried to log into the application itself. So what the identity provider can automatically do is return a response to Tableau server or to Tableau online and say, yes, yep, this person's logged in. Uh, you're, you're, safe, you're safe to give them the content. So that's, that's why this is, this is really best described as single sign-on um, because I'm actually signing into two applications, but I've only had to sign on once. Um, because once I'm signed into the identity provider, any other application that's trying to verify my identity um, automatically automatically knows, knows who I am. Now, this has the benefit that this works with both Tableau Server and Tableau Online. Um, so you don't have any, you don't have any restrictions there. Uh, the challenge can sometimes be that a lot of a lot of web, web applications aren't necessarily built with a, um, an identity provider attached to them. Often the, the authentication is done within, done within the application itself. Uh, so really, if you, if you do have an application that does its own authentication, then you essentially have two options. Um, either you could add an identity provider into the mix, in which case you'd be able to use Tableau Server or Tableau Online, or you could actually use Tableau Server um, and just continue to remain your application actually, uh, actually making the uh, making the uh, the trust uh, to tell us